Hi, welcome to my channel. Uh, in the last video, we went over some of the concepts and the layout of the Arduino Uno microprocessor development platform or prototyping platform. The next step is uh, to mount it to this. It's almost like balsa wood. It's a little bit more uh, hefty, uh, sort of some type of pressed wood. But they use this to mount the Arduino uh, to it and also the breadboard to give you a little bit more of a stable uh, platform to wire up your circuits. And then uh, I'm going to download uh, from the Arduino homepage the IDE and uh, pretty much do uh, Arduino's version of like Hello World if you start a programming language. It's to get uh, one of these, um, there's three LEDs surface mount LEDs on the board here uh, two are receive and transmit so whenever there's data being received or transmitted they're flashing and then there's another LED that you can um, it's connected directly to one of these pins here I think pin 13 maybe and uh, you can program it to turn on and off so you have direct access to it so we'll do that so you just press out these pieces, they've already been stamped by a machine. You just carefully press them out. So you've got this here. And the Arduino gets mounted on this side and the breadboard on that side. It's a breadboard with jumper wires. So the breadboard has this uh, backing tape on here that you use to secure this to the wooden base. The book that you get with the kit illustrates what they want you to do. So you just press these feet in. Flip it over. And the Arduino Uno has four mounting holes. Looks like you only use three. And that'll go there. And then put the breadboard here. So I'm hoping the mounting hardware is in the components bag here. Get a good amount of components to experiment with here. So I did find the three screws in the component bag there, but this board really doesn't sit flat. They should have some type of standoffs here. Where you trim down some of these tabs on this side here because they, they elevate the board. It's going to sit a little bit of an angle. So they use three of these mounting holes. And then you just uh, put a nut on the other side. Don't tighten it too tight. Don't want to, because it's not sitting flush, you don't want to crack this board or, or bow it. Just hand tighten this, the nuts and then just take this backing off.
There you go, nice prototyping development platform for the Arduino Uno experiments. Now we just have to download the IDE from the Arduino website. So let's go to the Arduino homepage. Downloads. Download the Arduino software. And this is open source. We have a version for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. So there's a zip file and now there's also a Windows installer. So I'm going to download the Windows installer. 52.6 megabytes. Check the components you want to install. Looks like they're all selected. I'll go with that default. Sets up a folder here under program files. I'll leave that. And there we go. I guess we'll go ahead and see if this installs the drivers automatically. Looks like it completed. Close. The kit also includes a USB cable. So let's see if the drivers were installed and if the Arduino board gets recognized. Oh, looks like I have power and I did read that these boards might have the blinking program already installed on them so this board is blinking you can see that and I have a little message on taskbar there saying installing device driver software so it looks like the drivers were successfully installed and it's telling me that the Arduino Uno is on COM port 4. So I have to take note of that because I need to select that in the Arduino IDE software. So it looks like I'm all set to go. So let's go ahead and open up the Arduino IDE. So we need to go to Tools serial port choose COM port 4 and the programs are called sketches so we can load the sketch uh, blinking file examples basics and there it is right there blink so there's the program and this button here will upload and when you upload you'll see there's two LEDs also on the board for receiving and transmitting data they blink uh, when you're uploading a program so let's take a look at that on the board we'll hit the upload and look at the board so you can see the TX and the RX labels right there on the board next to those two LEDs so when I upload we should get some blinking action right there. There we go. So it was already running. There was already a blinking program installed on the chip. And there's another LED here, a power LED. You can see it says on right here. 
And that's it. That's uh, my venture into first time I'm plugging in the Arduino Uno. Starting to get familiar with installing a program, basic program, and having the uh, Arduino Uno up and running. So thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to subscribe and or comment. Would appreciate your comments. Thanks for watching.